will also be in English because my French is really, really low. And, uh, so, if you don't understand, just digest your pizza and <laughs> it's fine. So, this uh, talk, or it's more demo, is going to be about the libraries we are working on here in Agrapools and which we open source, so any one of you can use. And I've just made very, very little slides and there will be demo. So, who's who I am? My name is Vlad, and I work here in Agropools as a developer experience engineer. You can find me on Twitter as a master here. And I think that's most all of it. So, basically, there is only one thing I would like you to remember from this evening is that we are doing also, or actually, we are open sourcing some libraries, and you can find them in here. And just Google Agropools OSS and you will find the same, because I also Google it most of the time. And, uh, okay, demo time. So it was a pretty quick introduction, but otherwise we'll be here for a long, long time. So maybe I should switch to, to the hub. Okay, it's too late for me. Okay, maybe I can just ignore it for today. <laughs> cool. So, uh, Cedric was speaking some magical words before, like BOM. So, actually, it means uh, Agropools OSS is also distributed as BOM. So, you don't have to specify version for every, every library, but it's, it's kind of side effect. So, I just picked some of the libraries which I hope will be most useful at the time if you would like to start working with uh, Micronal. And one of them could be useful even outside of Micronaut ecosystem. So you can see there's quite a plenty of uh, Micronaut libraries. There are some support for testing, some old Rails plugins, and other utilities. So, I think I've heard something like Micronaut launch during the presentation before. Okay, so this is my friend so far. So this Micronaut launch thing is uh, this generator. If you go to launch Micronaut IO, I guess I will ask again. No, so, and uh, I'm not sure uh, if Cedric also mentioned it comes as a command line tool. Probably not. not. So basically, there is the same version. Actually, if you go here, generate product project, you can use it as a command line tool. So I'm cheating here a bit because I have the command line tool installed. <coughs> And I have the new generation, or the last, latest snapshot of it. And it will actually support some of the micro now libraries developed here in the products. And so let's start with these ones. So the normal command is MN, but it is next generation. MNG, I hope it's right. And just create up. And the first two libraries I would like to speak about and for demo is Drew, it's a testing framework, and Micronaut Console. Micronaut Console. And let's say hello, Chuck. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So this is the name of the project. There's some some voodoo happening at the moment. So, hopefully I have everything right. Okay. Time for surprise, some warnings. It's not up to me. <laughs> features, sorry, features. It's, as I say, it's, it's over my bedtime, so just please the patient. So features, okay, features <laughs> and we are not playing the the group Cradle Enterprise yet Ben, so hopefully in the future. So it's not authenticated to Google Cradle Enterprise. Uh, we use the open source quite often but well it was very really nice, right? So uh, just quick question, who's using uh, Vim to edit Java files? <laughs> uh, NetBeans? 
Yeah. Oh, you use that means. Okay. Uh, sorry, you look a bit hot, so it's, <laughs> it explains stuff. So, Eclipse, anyone? IntelliJ? Yeah. Okay, so I'm also using IntelliJ here. So, most of you are going to be familiar. So, hello, Jack. Welcome to stuff. I trust you. I trust you. Yes. So, what just happened is it kind of visible. I don't think I'm able to zoom this left window even in presentation mode. So it's downloading the internet, it's fine. And uh, what has been generated? So let's start where you should start with tests. So what's nice in the launch or with the Micronaut generator is it also can generate some demo classes you already have in the project. Uh, it just generated this very fancy controller saying hello or as a message. So I guess it if I have follow, you are not really familiar with a micro now, but I guess this looks pretty springish anyway. So let's say it's been a very huge inspiration from Spring on this one. Should I should I make it bigger? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's make this stuff bigger, even there is basically no content. So and what has been generated? So Drew, you can go back to the hub and learn something new and it just says it's the HTTP interaction testing framework with out of the box support for Microsoft. So that's something we are going to use. And how does the test look like? Okay, I usually use to zoom a lot, so let's zoom it. So there is this guy called Drew. I think the minions are coming to cinema again, so it's just basically take the nice gap between between me speaking about crew. And, uh, okay, so this is some annotation which helps the manage the application context. So we have application context like in Spring, again, it's quite pretty similar. And you just inject crew, it's basically a bean which can test stuff, and you just say, okay, I want to get uh, this path, which is this one. And I'm expecting some response. And we should be able to run. Okay, run it as a test. Yay. Okay, I'm not sure if it's visible, but I think at least the color is green, which is nice. And what where is the grew index JSON? So it's just basically a JSON picture located in the one particle path over there, which is the same as uh, I really can't see this one. But which is the same as the name of the test and some package. And it is just a JSON picture. Okay, so uh, if I read my German right, we are something about social media in here. So let's create some different controllers, some different tests over there. So let's have some messages. Basically, every social network has a messages. So let's create a message message class and <coughs> private string author you can spell it private string and of course and some some date just to <coughs> test it Okay, we are not using longer here. So public static message create. And some factory method. Message. So sorry, this is boring. message and we can create a new controller which is going to be super super advanced message message controller okay, got it. 
So it's going to be reachable as message, obviously. And we can create new ones by running post. Sure, sure, sure. Just, just shout on me. You don't have to be shy, just shout on me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so public message create string. Very useful one because it doesn't store it anywhere. So you know, very very stupid control, but it will show show the show the use case I want to show you. So of course, let's do it. Let's create a test. And so how does it look like? So we can just do the same as it was in the other one. And inject true. Again. So let's say <laughs> it don't even we're supposed to be in there. We create a message, just a message, whatever. And it's a test. And again, just use true verify the When I post the message, there's, uh, there's some JSON. This, this, this. JSON. It's because it's too long. It's not. That means it's the ID. And create request JSON. We have some JSON incoming. Then we expect. Get something back. Um, Jason, right? Okay, just throw this away. Okay, so I haven't done anything else. I don't have my create request, create response, so let's try it. I believe that Bruce is so, so magic that it will just handle it itself. Okay, but obviously it doesn't. But what it does, just zoom again, it will just create the new file, create JSON, create request JSON, and the response as well. Okay, so. Basically, these tests are more or less integration tests because they always spin up the application context, but you can, of course, mop some of the beans and so on. So let's iterate on this one. <coughs> so it created it on the proper location. So let's say author is a lot and body is Okay, but uh, this is something I don't really want, so I can just leave it. And run the test again. Better. Again, it was created, so it just created this file again, and it looks a bit better. But I don't really like it. I no, don't really like this part, so I need to iterate a bit more. So let's tell. Jackson, because the uh, micronote is powered by Jackson for at the moment. Well, maybe in the latest one there are some new, new implementations and on. But mostly it's Jackson. Okay, so let's create a string. Let's run it again. Okay, so this complains. Because it was expecting some stupid number, but it was a string, so never mind. I'm going to delete you again. Unless I'm happy. Okay, nice. So now I have a string in my JSON. Uh, well, I, I, ISO, ISO did my JSON. 
and friend appears or just run it again and make it green. Okay. No. So it's not green because obviously it's the latest it's the latest <laughs> latest date. So true. Uh, as it's one of the major use cases most of the time these days. It's just handling JSON. So the it's powered beneath by something called JSON unit. It does have uh, some nice placeholders like JSON unit Ignore. So Ignore. If I spell it right, Ignore. Yay. So I can just go back here and because it doesn't care anymore. Yes, it's good. No, it's not, it's not nice, right? So it does have some Drew, just have some uh, some matches inside. So it's small again. And one of them is isolated. So let's keep it. Now it's green. So I think we are pretty solid. <laughs> so I think we have pretty solid test for this this application. Of course, in your control, this will be more complex logic, but you can still keep it uh, uh, in the high level, in the integration level. You can basically black box testing. You can always see you know, just what's in, what's out, and you can make any changes inside. So. So this one was uh, was group. So let's go further. So the other one was group Micronaut console. So Micronaut console is uh, it's nice to say it's like keyhole surgery. So you can just speak in your application, execute any script, which is great. You know, like you can like delete all the tabs. <laughs> you can do it. so. I'm happy all of you are using uh, IntelliJ, so I can just start the application right at the moment. And I can show you the console does not have any UI, but it has first class support for, uh, uh, for IntelliJ, which is good that you are using. And you can see it just adds some controller console execute result, you just call it and you can see it's groovy. Can Over you there. zoom? If I zoom you can see it. Okay. Thank you. And if I perfect. I can't see it but I can remove my glasses and make it smaller. So it's a groovy and uh, because yeah for Java and Groovy, so basically there are three languages supported Groovy, Java and Kotlin, and for Kotlin, if you're a Kotlin fan, anyone? Kotlin fan? Yes, I've seen Cedric before, he was so fancy writing Gradle script in Kotlin, so you can use Kotlin script, I have no clue how it works, but it works with Kotlin script as well. <laughs> but for, for Java and Groovy, it's just pure Groovy. And you can see the context is just the application context, so you can print it. Yes, so we can print it's the default application context, so it's running. Well. It's not really good to have this kind of open hole in your application. So, when you generate a new project with the Micronaut console, some more stuff is happening. So, one of them is it generates this configuration. And I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> so, this is the part generated by console. So, starting from version 2, you need to enable it manually, always. So you won't end up having the console enabled in production and everyone can execute the arbitrary code for you. <laughs> then, nice thing is to limit it to localhost. And nice thing about all cloud is that every request is coming from localhost, from the reverse proxy. So, the last thing which the reverse proxy won't do, or the, if you make some internal calls, like we are fetching the pictures from the from the internet, it's good to have some safe header. So we have the safe header that is this value is generated by for you by default. And if I mess this up and 
execute again. You can see the wrong value for verification in it. So we are using this ourselves. So we are trying to make it as secure as possible. So this is the basic setup which should be secure for you as well. And maybe not storing the values directly in here, but it's a different story. And okay, so this is the console. So what else can be done with the console? So let's say we have context, so we can get some beam just to, so you believe me, it's not fake. And only beam we have is a message control. It's also with me. So create. She one is there on the back somewhere. Again, and it's empty. Okay, I'm going to place the messy header. But you can see basically we can access any any beam which is which is located in here. So just a very small example because these this counter is very stupid, it does the business logic it shouldn't. So let's create a Java class, something even fancier, let's create an interface. Message service. And uh, this message service is going to create a message public. No, public it's create So I know so now I can see it's more uh, string what was the other one but right and because this is very complex logic we have split it to default uh, message service to implement message service and it's a singleton I'm not sure it's, are there singletons in Spring if you are familiar with Spring <coughs> or is it just service or something like that so we are using this check card and use singleton here and now implement the Zoom so you won't miss anything. So now we have a much more fancy control. There's a message service. So this one is injected now, and of course, we can use it. Create and provide it. else you can actually do with the console so you can see we have a we have a couple of uh, things available like context <coughs> user and request these are the default ones and they are defined here in the DSL file this is the way how you can define your own DSL in IntelliJ you don't really need to know how to do it because and uh, the Micronaut console is doing this for you and if you are, if you don't want to type always like context get bean, then you need to change this to implementation. So it's available on the on the compile class part. And uh, we can actually contribute to the DSL. It's, uh, messages. So we can just say implement binder method. We can take our great message service. And just return.
Okay, here we go. So, and when I restart the application, and do some other magic. So actually the DSL is something you can download yourself when you update it. <coughs> so You can see it's contributed to the, to the console. So if you have some hints you are you want to use quite often, you can uh, you can just contribute it to the console yourself. And this is just the sugar. It doesn't mean anything. If I just go here and create the messages and run it again, it still works. It's just something to tell IntelliJ that it's available. available. Nice. So I think that's all for console. So now let's try to cherry pick something else. So I think that many of you are having some kind of business rules in your application, business security rules. So for example, we can code as permissions. And okay, just not this one. So it's it's very very stupid name, it's very simple name, this permission. So, okay, so we have some really serious uh, loopholes in the application at the moment. So, anyone can create messages in behalf of someone else. And we would like to, the user, the locked in user, whatever it is, to have to create whatever it is. So, let's say you want the people to have a create permission. So basically it means, what I mean is that the user can only create, the user must be the same as the author. That's as, as simple as it is. Cool. So, let's take a look in here. And I'm afraid I just messed up something. Okay, so we don't know how to say the user has the create permissions. So this is ugly, it's returning 500, we don't like 500 here. So at least we can do small fix. So, message. So in Micronaut you can have exception handlers, so you can say whenever this exception happens, then you can return some content. So, it's a singleton and extends exception handler, which is from the permission exception and, and HTTP response. Bigger please. Well, I think when I just go back to the hotel, I'm just going to be like a car, just zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> okay, make it this way. And just to rest, what do you want? And HTTP response, unauthorized. So, okay. Yep, still bad, but it tells us if I zoom, zoom, that the status was for a 1 instead of 200. So, we know we are on the good way. So, probably this should never, should never pass. Yes. User and we expect status unauthorized. Okay. Yay! This one is 
working, the other one don't care. So, uh, what next? <coughs> so, we will probably need some of this. Eh? So, an awesome user class will have a So we have a user, and we somehow need to find a user. Let's create some fancy <coughs> interface. User profile. And this we're going to use to fetch the user. So optional user. user. Get current user. Should I zoom? I thought so. But it's so stupid, I thought it's not this important. But if you missed something from this great implementation of the user, here is the zoomed user. So, let's continue. And so, just to define the permission, we need to create the class. Let's see, message, message. Uh, Permissions advisor. So advisor is something which advise advice to implement permission. Advice <coughs> permission. Advisor for message. I guess you want some implementation. So, okay, so this is straightforward, it's for messages. So, let's say, I need my... Can you zoom? <laughs> uh, not this time, sorry. It will be too much code for the situation, so I can't zoom. <laughs> so, okay. You don't care if it's... Lines. <coughs> okay. Here we go. And I want my user provider here and whatever it is. So let's say <coughs> user provider can user map to something or else uh, no. I'll just start from the end. So if there is no user, or oh, let's deny. So if there is no user, just deny. Okay, so we have a use, we have a user, and map it. So map user now. And <coughs> so if the permission definition is created, this is what Josh Block, Josh Block. equals the permission definition. So this is the thing which is coming from the, from the allocation. Then otherwise just return and oh no, this one permission check result and oh no, here we go. And if the user get username, hopefully this is not now, equals the message author um, or if I have no space because I zoom. I told you I won't zoom for this one. Return okay, permission check result and hello. Okay. It's good. So I only hello if the user is the same as the as the author. Cool. So I can run my test. Okay. Because I was expecting the error. Anyway. So because it's denying here. So 
Yeah, because I forgot to see the Yeah. Right again. Yeah, it fails because I have no use provider. That's what I was talking about. So let's create some very stupid user provider. I just promise you won't you won't do it yourself. And request request user. It's a single term, I won't miss it this time. And implement user provider, I'm going to use it. <laughs> user provider. Okay, so here comes the part why you, why you shouldn't do it because I'm going to use static code. So the context, current request, which is already optional. Uh, <coughs> map it, flat map it. Request, 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 headers. And let's say there will be. I will just grab it from some other very secure and able to do it. So get header. Okay. X user is a string, an expert string. Yeah. And what's next? I need to actually map it to user. the current request, I read the, I get the X user header from it and create new user based on that. So this is uh, the, the high school security 101. So let's continue. So now when I run it, it should be much better. Okay. It just complains something different. That's fine. So let's fix the test and now to do is let me use this line. Zoom. Zoom. And just say header X user as well. See the error uh, will get the other bit so I can see this. No? You will get it anyway. Uh -huh, okay. Debugging. <laughs> Debugging sounds good. Oh it never enters this one. But there's a single temp as a user provider. Maven Queen install. Try to get the gym from the console. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, do just. Okay, there's no problem. Then I thought that Maven Queen install installs every single. So. You can see it's very really secure. No one can do anything. <laughs> so that's nice. So we have user. We have the request user provider. And it's explicit string. And this is not executed at all. We should do import. I've messed up an import. It's a single term, it's a permission is a message. Okay, just, uh, maybe I maybe we'll just go over that. It's not reaching there. Okay. So what else we can do? 
and just go to the internet and do the photo solution. <laughs> Maybe you have to uh, finalize the, the stream. Sorry? Maybe you have to finalize the stream. Oh, so that's too advanced for me. Thanks. <laughs> I think it shouldn't be easy. It should be a bit of a problem. Thanks. The test was message. Short request. Thanks. And. It's nine to nine to ten. I don't know really. Did you put the header in the test? Sorry? Did you put the header in the test? Did you put it? Yes, I hope so. Uh, but th th is there a stream? A stream? A stream. A stream. I don't know. Are you using a stream or not? It should be okay. Should be stream. The stream. The stream. The stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here. I, we can just move it here. Why? It's beautiful like this. Okay, so we do. Just, just Google stuff. Just pretend I'm just on Google and I'm not just copying stuff in some different implementation I've done this morning. And maybe you will find some, some differences. Okay, I know what's wrong. It's because you, because when I was doing this in the morning, I wasn't zooming. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, message permission. So who's who's betting on the request user provider? You? No, we're just we're just too long for you. Okay, request user provider. I tell you, it's just because of this. this. Who's using Zoom? Who's using something else? And after that, I will just keep up. And you will just just imagine it's nearly the bad times. Just imagine it works. <laughs> no demo girls are against me. This evening. Which one is the one I haven't completed? All of them. Circle back to this one and if I'm not formulated. But you can. In the controller, you, you put a body with a, with a message. How, it is known, how does it know that you have to control message? Uh, sorry? How does it know that you are looking for a message permission? As a, as a yes, so this is the, the permission works out of the control context. That's the benefit. So whenever you ask, not just whenever you put the the permissions, not only to let's say here, but in a business classes, a business services, you can put it anywhere. You just put it in the control. And Because you have the 401, so maybe you can 
I can I can debug the exception. That's a good point. So you will see some uh, number, right? It's nice you won't give up. I would give up. <laughs> cool. Can you determine if it uses permission to perform operation? And this is because. So you can see everything is completely transparent. It only means you need to know where to take it. So it's advisors, messages, message permission advisor is here. So operations is fine. I have the right bit scrap condition. Still have the wrong right? Okay, I found the solution. can show you it in a good picture. So let's say uh, message controller. And just don't do this at home unless you are get stressed that you're not uh, on time. So and because sometimes you want to think you just trust. I trust it's going to be okay. <laughs> So, I will have my mess and I don't have my mess. Okay, okay, my fault, my fault all the time. Because I want to say, say, message. Okay, so I don't have to be there, it's nice. So, of course, it just needs to have the message object to be able to check them check the permissions and obviously we are going to do Here, so just say for permissions. So when you're a trust, the value you can actually do permissions to message and supplier. So we just this is the way how we really, for example, for testing, not now, but for testing, you can also 
tell IRA Trust this object has the has the permission. So now, no, don't do that. Cool. So we should move a bit further. Okay, so the last one. I think I just pick the last one, otherwise we are going to get until nine. And I believe that everything is going to be blocked because I should be in bed definitely after nine. <coughs> so the last one I wanted to show, which could be also interesting for you, is uh, Micronote Worker. And the Micronote Worker allows you to execute the, uh, you know, like the cron jobs or some, some other jobs. And there is a built-in feature called Scheduler, but on top of it, it's nice, it has some synthetic sex, sugar, and it has a support for distributed jobs, distributed processing. So let's say you have a one server which is producing into some queue and other, other servers are consuming. So if you still scale horizontally, there is a built-in support for this one. So let's start with this one. Here, just implementation, implementation, and this time it's with implementation. Okay. So, what do you do? For example, one of the most common things you can do is just something else. Here, hello user. So package. Yes. Just this new one. Java class in digest job, which will just send you know in the email digest every morning. So singleton, uh, let's say is private final in report. Private final in sender. Constructor, let's create these classes. This one is very important. It's a singleton public. So this one will hold, will just return and get emails for pages. Then working here. Shimon working here as well. We are going to send an email. Okay, so one method, another one is again single term. Cool. So, the job. Okay, the job looks like it's a cron job, which executes every morning, let's say at 6.45, every single day. Public void. Simple in a repository, pages for each <coughs> mail, just sender, some email, email. <laughs> cool. 
Cool. Fine. So how we can test it? We have to wait until 6.45. <laughs> I have another demo if you want. So, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, the carrots, you don't want to wait here for a whole night. Anyway, hello, console. So I've just updated the DSL for console, and if I go here, I zoom a bit, you can see there's a built-in support for Microsoft console. So, what has been created is there are new couple of, uh, of uh, properties you can use from console. And we have the email digest job, you can just call it like this. And, uh, zoom, zoom, it's done. And now let's go to the distributed part because this could get really heavy if you want to zoom like three times. I've already done it many times today, it's exhausting. And just we can go back in here and make it more advanced. So every morning, okay, so. Every cool application needs to break the bracket. Actually, the micronaut applications are supposed to break it, otherwise they are blocking the Netilu, the things I don't understand, but we just get kicked by it quite often. So let's do IO micronaut reactor, which is the, now the favorite one. There are so many ways how you can type micronaut and if you read one of our articles in the, our blog, in our tech blog, you can find many of them. I really like micro too, it sounds <laughs> and I do this often as well. So let's uh, stop the app. Stop. Okay. So we need to be very, very fancy in here. So what we can do, we can actually split it. To publisher of string over here. So what's the name? Is it flux? No, it's not a flux. Is it? Who's reactor expert expert here? Yes, it's flux. So now this is pretty stupid because the consumer tube usually needs to run in some fixed rate. Like for one second. Probably not for this one. Ah, this one will send emails. Let's just produce uh, emails for digest. And send email. So it's too complicated. Send email. Things sender, some email, email. So. Okay, so so let's wait till morning now, right? Or we can do some other magic, but you know it just it's still spinning, it's just waiting for the emails to receive. So let's go in just again, just update the console file, the DSL file. There is some other stuff. For example, email digest produce emails for digest. You can see the name has somehow changed to also include the name of the, the name of the method. And you can still call it like this. I hope. Yes. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And of course, you would like to. You can actually also enqueue. You can just enqueue directly to the queue. Send emails. 
Cross and we will send it to Cedric and Houston. Uh, right? So there's already one Cedric. So it will go to someone else. You've missed the chance. Yeah, you can see. Okay, yeah, over here. It was also a cute that. So, uh, I have one more demo, but I'm afraid. Yeah, sure. I know. Uh, how is the relationship made between the two methods? Uh, two methods? So, basically, this one. <laughs> the consumer. Yeah, this one is consumer or the relation. It's because it's in the one class. Okay. But you can do. Yes. Spinning, spinning, spinning. And if I go here, I go to Zenai. And if I call this again, I think it does. Mm -hmm. Because it's a different queue. And if I have to want to fix it, I would have to go back here and tell this one consumes. Now when I run it again, and run it again from here. It works again. <laughs> so who started who wants another demo? It will be a very smallish one. No? No. I spent like ten thousand. <laughs> so yeah, yeah you can just <laughs> I forgot to tell you at the beginning that if you have any questions you need to have asked right ahead because I will forgot it. So if you have any question just Yes, of course you can ask. So any questions? Okay, I'm going to do one more, one last thing, which is Right on it, right? Yes. I should get the magic. Uh, if I go to Hello Paris Chat by play. I told you I should be in a better room. <laughs> Just don't let me to go there. And edit the link. Oh, so we've already. You can edit it. You can't edit it. No. Damn it. So we can just go to GitHub slash musket here and find it. Can Hello, you tweet Jack it? Can you, can you tweet the link to that repository? I, I guess you can use the GitHub project. Smart one. Even at oh, Walter Pasta. But, but I know you are living in a different different time zone. Even you don't admit it. 
Hello, Paris Jack. Should I zoom it or not? <laughs> Paris Chuck. Was it this one? Hello, Paris Chuck. Yeah. Thank you very much.